Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. It's really fun that you guys hang out with me. It's been wonderful for me and I hope you guys have gotten a little something out of it too. It totally brightens my day. So today is part two of how to draw simple snowmen. Think shapes, that was what we talked about in part one. And so today we're just gonna draw three more. So to catch up a little bit, here's the first three that we drew. Aren't those cute? Okay, let's get started. Okay, just to, in case you're watching this part two video first, I just cut out a piece of graph paper and I meant to cut it three inches by four inches, but I actually cut it three and a half by four. And then I just, I've scribbled on it. I just traced around it just to give me sort of an edge of what we're thinking of for our snowmen. And then I just used a technical pencil. You could use any pencil you have. And for the ink, I used a permanent Sharpie marker. So this one, I used a permanent Sharpie marker. I put the ink on first, I believe. You could do it first or last, it doesn't matter. Alrighty, let's draw. So I was thinking maybe a snowman like holding a tree. Might be kind of cute. Oh, I'm just shuffling papers here. Oh, and then my, um, I also have watercolors in the tube that you can put into a pan, but I use these or I was using these for my in-person watercolor classes. I think it was $15 for all these colors. It's Angora. I got it at Blick Art Materials. It's made in Germany. Um, I mix in the lid, or you can mix in, you know, on a plate, on a, like a plastic lid from, I don't know, a Coolip container, it's anything you can find. Anyway, isn't that fun? All those colors for that much money, and they work really well. So you don't always have to spend a lot of money. You just kind of have to try supplies to see if you like them. Okay, let's draw. I think I'm gonna draw all three and then paint them so we don't have to wait so much for areas to dry. Oh, and I got a little spot on his nose. <laughs> okay, so a snowman, or maybe a snowman holding a broom. You could also do, I, did, I do two circle snowmans, but you could also do three if you like three better. Okay, let's have one maybe really looking up. Well, I'm wondering if I want, I think we'll put earmuffs on him. All right, let's maybe do a three, a three bumper snowman. So I'm just thinking circles. They're kind of, actually this one kind of got more squished. This one's more round. This one's more like an egg shape. Um, I usually put the nose on first because I don't know exactly where I want things to go. So I'm not gonna curve this nose. So one curve. Another curve. Something like that. I tend to make my noses kind of long. This is a kneaded eraser. They, they're like a dollar. There's different brands. And hopefully when I look down, I'm not hitting my microphone there. I just felt it. I'm looking for, oh, I don't think I have one in my drawer. I was gonna show you. Generals makes a brand that you might like. I think this is a different brand, but I can't remember what it is. I'm make it a little fatter. Okay. So I got it a little close over here, so should we have him holding the broom over on this side? 
And how about if we do like um, arms made out of snow? I really like the stick arms. Here we just did plain old lines, which are kind of fun. You could even thick them up, thicken them up by double lining it. Okay, so how would that work? I'm trying to think. Maybe kind of come out. I'm drawing kind of dark today. Sometimes I draw lighter. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think we'll have it. Oh, no, we actually don't want to do that, maybe. Because we see more of this, this left side of the body. So I'm wondering, or I'm thinking, that it might be kind of fun for you guys to see me erase and think about it. There, maybe something kind of like that. So we just have it kind of come straight out from, from up there. Alright, let's. So I wanted to get the hand on there first so I could kind of see how the broom might look. Alright, should we just make it one of those little kind of wispy brooms? Okay, that's, that's pretty cute. It's starting to work. I'm not sure if I like this shoulder. And then maybe we'll have a... Oh, okay, so curve curve and I didn't like this so I just kind of made I'm kind of making an egg shape here if I do it the whole way oops nope well, we want that line because it's coming from behind okay I want to make this hand a little bigger <laughs> I just dropped my needed eraser we'll use this one better. Alright, let's grab... Oh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Grab my eraser. Alright, it's starting to look kind of cute. Alright, if we're going to do earmuffs, and the eyes... I mentioned last time, I kind of like my eyes closer together. This earmuff is going to get kind of lost. I'm going to see if this will work if I kind of pull it up and then we bring it over. So parenthesis, maybe straight and parenthesis kind of shape. Oh, I think that works. That's so funny that I'm drawing dark today. I don't know why. Um, if I didn't already see this, let me know if this helps. Hear what I'm thinking. Okay, let's do Should we do dots again? Oh, and maybe a scarf? Oh, I would be thinking scarf blown in the wind, but it's going to fight with the um, the broom. So, curve shape, curve shape. We'll just use the shape of the head this time. Sometimes you can bring the scarf up over here, like we have the chin tucked down in here in this one. This time we'll... And then instead of buttons... Okay, so now I'm going to do like a hook. 
a backwards question mark or no forwards a, a question mark shape and then straight down and then just have the top follow the line of the scarf smaller question mark and straight down okay and I don't think we'll put buttons on this one And then I just curved it. And you can kind of do little ovals. All right, should we do a stripe? I like stripes. I like dots and stripes. This one got a little messy. Oh, I was going to erase that. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Can I do that? Oh, he's got kind of a funny chest. I'm going to round that out a little bit. And then you could have it either way. You could have... Should we do it this way? We'll have his top circle coming over the bottom circle. Okay. I think we got it. Boy, the weather changed here in Nebraska. It's high at 29 today. We were having some unseasonably warm weather. And the wind was, oh, the wind was blowing. It's not too bad now, but it was blowing last night. It just felt so much more chilly in the house. Well, and then, as what happens is when the weather turns cold, you have to check the your tire pressure in your car. My tire light went on when I was zipping down to the gallery, which I hate. I hate when it does it then. But they were, I think they were just cold, but they all needed a little bit of air. Okay. Yay, are we good? I'm gonna put like a little something that that broom is hanging on to. Oh, I like that. That little mark is fun. All right, let's 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 draw another one. So for me, what's the hardest thing is drawing the structure of a painting, anything I'm doing. I was gonna show you a pet portrait I've got sitting here, but it won't, this'll post before the pet portrait and the pet portrait's for Christmas. <laughs> so I don't wanna, don't wanna show that just on the off chance that somebody would see it. Okay, should we do one? Let's do one like on a, on a snowboard. So I'm gonna draw the snowboard sort of first and let's draw it lighter. So let's go straight down. And we're basically gonna do sort of a rectangle and then round it out. And then let's kind of go up in the air. Draw it in line, and then I'm gonna round that out. And some. Um, so I brought that up a little bit from my rectangle shape. Bring that down just a little bit. You don't have to do this, you could leave it a rectangle shape. And then I'm gonna give it a smidge of depth. So up to the left, up to the left. And then circles can be interesting, but just kind of go from the outest, outer point here and go up to the left. Oh, hopefully my hair wasn't in there. Okay, and then we'll go, just connect everything, just follow your line, your curves, oops. Have a funny point there. I probably should do an art tip video on um, perspective. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be too much. And if we might be too far left here. So one thing nice about doing these sketches is like you can make a traceable out of them or just scribble on the back and use them as traceables and scoot them 
to where you want, you know, if you don't get them centered just how you want them. Okay, let's see. Let's do like... So its body's gonna be fairly well planted on this. We're not gonna see a whole lot. Kind of a really squish egg. Let's just do a circle maybe. And then should we do We could do like a square scarf again. I don't know, I think sometimes people like it when it follows the body. You know what we might want to do? All right, let's usually do the nose first, but let's think like goggles. So sort of a slightly curved line, you could make it straight. Slightly curved line, and then it might like almost like I'm, gonna, I'm almost thinking like swimming goggles. <laughs> that might be kind of fun. I made this one smaller, which it would be slightly in perspective, but I don't know if it really needs to be from this angle. But I'm gonna leave it. Should we put two eyes? Kind of close together. Actually, it's a little farther apart than I usually do. And then maybe since we've got a nose here, should we just make our nose. I've been making big noses on my snowman. You can shorten it up. And then maybe like, let's actually draw the It's kind of fun. Do we want to put a hat on it? Maybe we put a hat on it. Should we just... Uh... So one little tip is to kind of come out and follow the shape of the head and then come out a little further and hook it behind. I'm just kind of angling up because it's going to come to a little bit of a point or something. And then maybe we'll just make it kind of short. Or you could do a long flowing one. You know, you could have a long flowing hat actually could flow into here. Should we do it? I'm just gonna come up like I did before and make it bend. You could make it curve. All right, so I'm gonna make this one come up a little more than I had it. Is that too much? Um, now it's just kind of personal preference. I'm gonna make that a little fatter. Well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> and it, it breaks into the next scene, which is kind of fun, too. Okay. Should we just do like a plain scarf? We'll just do, we'll do another one uh, like we did this one, where we'll use this for our scarf, bot, our top, and we'll just go parentheses, and then we're going to follow the shape of the the face circle. If you don't follow it exactly, no big deal. And I suppose we should have, um, like, we could do, huh? let's just do like little triangles. We could just do like a, I kind of bent the triangle. Oh, that's cute. I think that kind of works. Do we need this a little bigger? Oh, I dragged my hand through it, so it kind of got... 
You can put down a piece of paper um, to cover, to protect your drawing while you're drawing. So you don't drag your hand through it and smear it. I'm kind of wanting to, maybe. Just make this a little bigger. Okay, and then since we change the shape, we'll just go up and left. And if you want, you can have, you can use a ruler, get it all just so. There, I like that better. That's kind of fun. Oh, we need arms or something. Should we do arms like this person? Or... Maybe more, maybe more noodly arms so that they can catch themselves. <laughs> How about if we just go like, kind of like, wee? Then I tend to do mittens. You could just do mittens even more simple than I did here. Just have it thumb like that. So a line. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. I'll do a couple of lines. Okay. <laughs> we got snow snowboarding. I kind of want to thicken up the goggles so we can fill it in with a color. You can see much, so I'm gonna just put a little. That's kind of cute. You could put a strap. Do we want to put a strap? Let's do this one first. So sometimes if you exaggerate, it goes out a little bit over the snowman. And you don't have to finish it. That can be kind of fun. So I just pulled it out a little bit in a straight line. You could even add a, like a little piece tucking back. Okay. One more. Do we need to do snow, like maybe skating? Okay, let's do, let's do our big, well, I, I, a lot of times I start with a head. Okay, let's do maybe, we need to leave room for the skates, so I'm just kind of, okay, and then a head. I kind of think I want a taller head and maybe put it back a little bit. Because I think I want to put, I don't know if it's going to be looking down too much. Can you tell it's kind of looking this way and down? Well, it could be looking this way too. So if it looks this way, it's looking up a little bit just because I have it tilted this direction. So if you do this, like the eyes go here, here it's looking up, here it's looking down. Maybe we'll do a looking down just to make it different. Because um, I kind of want to put, I like this hat, I kind of want to do another one. Let's have it looking more Straight up. Okay, do you see how awful that is? <laughs> if you're trying to do an oval. But it can just help you too. Don't sweat it if you're not real good at drawing shapes. Okay. So let's do simple ice skates. Oh. 
let's have one kind of down and then flat so how do we let's do it kind of oh what would an ice skate look like Should we just kind of do it like like that I mean, you could do the whole shoe and everything, but I'm, I'm thinking just maybe we just show the blade. Try and keep it simple. That might work. And then we could have one, you know, like they're skating along. You know, a lot of or a lot of things are just like little curves, straight line. I don't know if I like the lines right inside there. I think it kind of works. Like I have like two, two. I think we'll kind of almost like it even could be. Um, those are so simple. Those could be like elf shoes or something almost. Okay, I kind of wanted to do a fun, let's see, let's figure out, let's have him or her looking up, we'll do a fatter, shorter nose. It is funny, like you think you would draw the same every day, but you don't. Some days you're just kind of heavier handed than others. Okay, let's do this. And then the hat. Okay, right, let's start off with a curve. We just kind of follow the head there almost. And then I'm thinking if it flips out, And curves and then it's gonna flip in and then maybe a little tie string so then this would kind of come up we're gonna make like an arch almost okay that works but then this side might be a little harder so let's just have it Okay, so when you have like curvy things, we'll just hide the cross behind his nose, the crisscross. So you basically make an X right here. I think that works. I <laughs> think it's kind of cute. So it's this hat sort of, but looser and floppier. And it flips. And then if you don't like that you're kind of had a flat spot there you can round it out a little more and then let's put I'm gonna put like a little oval up here well that's kind of fun and then I tend to like mouths that are a little bit squarish it's got kind of a big head I'm thinking scarf now. Let's just go straight out. Let's see if we can do it kind of more angles. Straight out. Here, let's bring it up. So his chin's tucked in. He's got a, I keep looking at his larger head than I normally do. I don't know that that's bad. Let's try and keep it, even though it's bugging me.
Maybe we could do. We already did triangle, triangle. Yeah, let's try and do this more simply. What if we did like a just a curve, and then come over? I kind of dip down a little bit, and then curve just to do something a little different. I think that kind of works. Just kind of play with the shapes a little bit. So just a big curve, a big curve. I'll do lines because I've got a couple of both of these have loopies. And then should we just have another one curve but be short? Does that work? That's always a question. Does it work? I think that's kind of cute. Just try and think of something a little different. He's kind of, he's kind of chubby. I'm just cleaning it up so I like it a little bit better. One thing I like about a kneaded eraser is you can put it into a shape. Just kind of lighten things up a little bit. And then you could put trees or you know whatever you want in the background too. I'm just focusing on how to draw snowmen, um, trying to make it a little bit easier for you guys. I almost saw a stripe there, so I'm just gonna. Now do we want the uh, stripes to go horizontal? Like we did here? Probably. Maybe we should do three. Let's get all kinds of stripes going. Does he need a button? Like a big, just a big one. One button. Um, arms. I really don't have any other. I, I pretty much do arms these three ways. So let's. Um, should we just do like a little. Little stick arm. We won't give him very big arms. I just kind of squiggled them and wiggled them. Okay, I think we're done with this one. It's kind of fun. The hat turned out pretty good. I also tend to like stripes. Okay, let's paint it. Or let's, should we ink one of them? Since we inked that one, should we ink the middle one here? Might be able to see it a little bit better too. Gonna protect that one from my hand. So one thing I keep thinking about and I'm not doing is having like a, a journal where I just draw something quick every day because it would be great practice and I don't do it. And it will definitely help any like drawing, painting, sculpting, it just helps. The better drawer you are, sometimes the better artist you are. I mean, it's not like totally, you know, linked one to one, but knowing how to draw can definitely help you. And then knowing how to shade can definitely help you. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna fill that in black. We don't even have to try and paint it. So that's another reason for me to do this video. It's just, it's good for me to practice drawing.
the eyes in. You guys could totally ink all of these. It's just quicker if I don't for the video because I'm already starting to think, hmm, how long is this taking? I like to keep it to about an hour or less. Uh, my daughter Emily helps me edit and upload, which is super, super helpful and really wonderful. Oh, I'm hoping I'm on camera here. Um, it just takes forever. Upload speeds are so much slower than your download speeds for most people. I would think for everybody's cable, but I don't know that to be a fact. Okay, I shortened the nose up just a smidge. Still kind of big. <laughs> okay, one thing that it kind of happened by accident, but it can be kind of neat, is just kind of double line it once in a while and give it a little thickness. One thing nice about inking is you can go back and erase all the pencil marks. Make it look a little neater and cleaner. You can also, when you kind of know where you're going, get a little more expressive. I don't know if you noticed that. But I kind of, I think I'll probably widen that one out a little bit. And you can adjust, like I move the buttons. Okay, so I'm going to round that a little bit. I'm going to have that heat. Cool. Cute. Should I get that closer to the video? Fun. And there's this one, so you can see it closer in case I didn't do that. Oops. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to look at the top of my phone. Okay, are we in um, frame, in camera? So as long as I ink this one, let it dry for a second. That's why I didn't. Oops, I erased his cheek. I wanted to keep his cheek in pencil so it's lighter. Alrighty. Anything else we want to do? Oh, we could do a little salt. I have a tips and tricks video that I mentioned in part one of this video uh, for watercolor. And you can just, it's in the art, I think, no, I think there's a watercolor playlist on YouTube. And it would be the tips and tricks video. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the last video too, I have, um, oh, I think it's a 22 page booklet, PDF booklet that you can download and it has photo steps. There's a chickadee you can paint. There's some cactus you can paint. Um, it has photo steps. Uh, a couple of them have videos to go with them. So that'd be really fun. I think you might enjoy that. Sometimes people like watercolor because it's really easy to pack. And you just wet them to wake them up again. I keep messing with it, so I think it's just because it's kind of dirty. I think once I get the paint on it, I, I'll be fine. I need to quit messing with it. Okay, so let's work left or right because that way I won't drag my hand through wet. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my uh, brushes. Okay, I keep, I don't have very many watercolor brushes and I keep them separate. Um, I'm pretty sure these brushes could be used for anything. Um, I don't know how well they'd work for oil. I'm not very, I don't, I've only painted once in my life in oil, um, but I know they definitely would work for acrylic. And this one can be a really great all purpose brush because you can see the point on there. But I'm gonna use this one because when I, was teaching in person, everybody liked this brush the best. And you can tell I even it's not as stained, so I even used it quite a bit because a lot of times students like it if you use what they're comfortable using. So I'm going to set all these aside. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna wake up my paints. So I'm just dipping it in water. Oops, and then dropping. I'm actually, it would go quicker if I use this one because it's gonna hold more water. And get bigger drops. You don't need to wake them all up. I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm just going to get a little water going in all of them. So this will post, I think, we're in December, so it's holiday season. Hanukkah is going on. Uh, I haven't looked up when Kwanzaa is on the calendar. Christmas is around the corner. What do you guys celebrate? I'm sure there's holidays I don't even know. Let me know in the comments. I think it's really nice to get together with family, friends. Friends can be a lot of fun. Okay, I remember I had a problem last time. Maybe if we stick it, <laughs> where to stick it? Maybe over here and you can see the most. Okay, I kind of want a dark green. So let's maybe grab, this is kind of a blue green. I grabbed a little more water. Can you see it if I put it? I think you can see if I put it there. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off my brush because I, I like to keep my colors on the clean side even though I kind of got or have some green in my brown. So I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna grab some of this brown. Well, I kind of made a green greenish brownish. You could also mix with a, a different brush than you're painting with so you're not cleaning off so much. Let's grab some yellow. And then I really went brown with it. Let's grab some. I think that would be like grass green. In the first video, I didn't mix color. So I just offloaded my brush a little bit. Oh, that's a good green, I like that. I was kind of looking for a darker, so softer green. Cool, all right, I'm gonna so we can grab a little water. Let's get I want some lighter color just so we can come back with a darker. One thing you can do, Kleenex paper towel. If you want to lighten it up a little bit and go a little slower with the values. I think my voice there was kind of monotone because I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, hopefully my microphone isn't rubbing. All these technical things. So for me now, it's just relaxing because we're just going to play. And if I go outside the lines, we're okay. It's alright to color outside the lines. I kind of like that. I suppose this one should have maybe some brighter colors. But I might take some of my green. I think we'll have two green and red ones. Kind of like this one. We'll have green and red for these three. But that has like a blue green and a brighter green. So now I'm going for a softer one. So I'm just going to grab a little water. Just kind of scumbling like you would in acrylics. Now, we could switch. I just heard my washing machine. It's not running, but it's just dumped a little water <laughs> into the, the basket. I don't know why it does that once in a while. Um, 
I'm trying to lighten this up, but it's really not. So we could go like a real light green in here. We could go a cream color, like the lining's a different color. Maybe we'll do that. I'm gonna... Well, shoot, oh, I already washed my brush out. Here, should we just, I haven't tried this color. Try this beige. That's kind of fun. Like it has a fuzzy beige lining or something. I just grabbed a little bit more paint. I suppose we could do a beige hat. Or beige, I mean a beige pump pump. Left a little white there. I don't know if it works or not. Cute. Oh, you know what we could do? Well, I've got the beige in my brush and says switching. So I like to paint one thing at a time and then move on but it's actually more efficient to paint everything you want beige beige and then come back like if you do all your greens kind of a thing okay do we want any beige as long as we've got beige on the brain do we want any on the we can always darken it. Let's put some on the, the stick arms. Oh, here. I don't know that I did this all that um, efficiently. So we can put some of the beige over here. That's kind of nice. We could mix that color with a little brown and maybe a pinch of yellow. What's kind of fun is to have it right there to use, kind of like my first, well, what's my first love was crayons. My mom always used to say I wouldn't put my crayons down, um, but color pencils I really like. done with beige. I'm going to come back to my dark green that I mixed. Can you see that? Oh, yep. It's barely on camera. And I'm going to add, actually I'm going to load up my brush. I'm going to add like a dark green stripe next to my white stripe. And I'm going to put a little dark green in where it tucks down behind in that question mark I talked about. And then maybe a little dark green right there. That's kind of cute. I like the different greens. I'm gonna darken this one up a little bit, put a little more. could also even get this a little darker. Put a little depth into the earmuff. That's cute. I like that. Okay. And then this probably is fairly dry. So there's where I think things can kind of help you. Instead of just putting one layer of color down, just like in acrylics, layers can be your best friend. It's fun. Do we want a green scarf here? Oh no, let's do a red scarf maybe. Mix it up just a little. Come back and put a little more. Kind of emphasize it, make it stronger, darker. So let me know if you like this video. 
I thought it'd be fun to switch it up. I've been doing a lot of acrylic painting. I need to do a lot of acrylic painting. Um, I joined a new gallery here in Omaha and they've assigned me a show in March with another new artist that joined, which is really fun and exciting, but I've been blessed to be selling my paintings while I don't have very many, it's a big space. I don't have that many paintings. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, well you could put one up, you know, we could go minimalist to use an art term and just put like one up on one of the huge panels, space them out. I don't know what that is. I got a little something on my, I guess we won't worry about it. Oh, you know what I kind of want to do? So our snowman isn't floating so much. Give it a little ground. Okay. This one we're going to do colorful. I'm just saying that to remind myself. Showing, getting a little dark brown going. We're going to use it straight out of the Straight out of the pan here. So pull as long as you're comfortable. Just set your brush down lightly. And then if you want a wider line, push a little more. I don't know that we need any brown on here. put brown in the scarf. You don't even have to follow your lines, just whatever you feel like. Oops, I forgot a beige here. We'll put a brown there. A little brown on the underside of the, the stick arms. Okay, we could get fancy and it might, I don't think I'm gonna, I was gonna say you could shade uh, the underside of the flaps. You could shade the puff a little bit with some brown. I'm not kidding, any brown on my brush. I don't want much. There. I said I was going to leave it and I thought I'd show you. I don't know if that shows. That's pretty light, but I'd rather go light and come back with more color. Huh, that might actually be kind of fun and work. Not my brush. I'm gonna grab a little of the beige so it can dry when I come back to it. Okay. Let's do noses. You could do anything next. There's not really a certain order. We could do shadows on the the snowman. Maybe we maybe should we do that? So I've got little splatter color in there. I just mixed it in there. Okay, so I almost always have the sun coming from this direction, shining this way. Um, you don't have to. I just do it because like if I end up using something I paint or draw for licensing, then I have a good chance that the sun's coming from the same direction on things. I'll just make this all kind of gray. Kind of give him a, her, him, her a little armpit. <laughs> mm. 
So as an artist, you think about things like armpits, and then I chuckle because I think that's funny that, you know, like if I'm painting a pet portrait, I'm really looking at a nostril, not a dog or a cat or whatever I'm painting. You know, whiskers, you really start to look at the little things. I think that can be kind of interesting. Stars like stopping. I want to turn this, but I also don't want it to be off. I'm out of frame, so I think I'll just leave it straight and lean my body. Um, you can really become an observer, which can be fun. I think it's fun to look at clouds. Oh, I have a cloud video you guys might like if you're interested in acrylic painting. And I keep it simple. I paint the background blue, and I just use white two kinds of white, titanium white and zinc white, and show you how to just kind of scumble clouds in to keep it simple. I think I'll bring the shadow over in this way. So one thing nice is if your colors are kind of dry, I'm picking up some of the green. You can kind of paint right over it. You will wake it up with watercolor. Some gouaches, I think there's watercolor gouaches and there's like, I don't know what it is, permanent gouaches, I don't know. If it's more of like a really thin acrylic paint, um, that won't wake up. So you have to kind of be sure if you use gouache, read the, the tubes or whatever it comes in. Because if you want it to wake up and it doesn't, you're going to be disappointed. Sometimes you just don't get anything on your brush, and sometimes you get too much. And I keep getting, there we go, not much. Oh, you could use like blue. Here. I'm going to clean out my brush. Should we use, that's kind of, kind of dark. I was going to say, I guess I don't want to. You could use a really light blue for the snowman. Um, I've done that. Oh, in the church painting I just did, it was alive. I used um, a blue gray for this, for pretty much everything. The main color. I don't think I want to, so I'm not gonna. You can also leave a white edge. That can be kind of nice. Almost like there's a little reflective light. This might be too wet to add the... I think I'll just leave it alone. It's really bleeding. It's blooming into my wet. Um, oh, let's put a little here. We definitely need some... The shadow of the hat. I got some in there in the goggles, but that's okay. Let's let it dry. Watercolor can be so fun and loose. Oh, here, let's try this and see if it works. Put a little gray, I don't know what color these mittens are going to be, but we could put a shadow in first. Now the, the danger is, is it could bleed into the color that we put over it. But we might get lucky and it'll just be the shadow. You could do it that way. Instead of like I use darker green in the earmuff, you can mix colors. Or we could, you know, actually what would work better is to paint the, the mitten and then come back over with some gray. Well, let's see if we can get away with it. Oh, gray on this one. I'm working left or right here. That's darker than I want, so I kind of offloaded my brush and grabbed just a teeny, teeny bit of water. And now that's lighter than I want. <laughs> Better lighter than darker. Let's see if I can get it. It's not really doing what I want, so I'm just going to leave it alone. That's much darker, so I offloaded my brush on my paper towel. I've got 
too much water. I'm all out of practice with watercolor. You get to where you really know how much water you want and what it's going to do. The paper's going to matter, like if you switch papers you'll notice. stayed with the darker that I had there, couldn't I? Alright. Maybe I'll just leave that that dark. So I put down my paint where I want it darkest, grab a little water, offload my brush a little bit, grab a little water, I'm just going to kind of scumble it. So people complain about how fast acrylics dry, but really, acrylics you can paint over and it's really forgiving. Watercolor, there comes a point, I think even quicker, where you just have to let go and let it do what it's going to do. You can, like, uh, let it dry and lift it up. You can try to dr let it uh, lift it up while it's wet. I think sometimes watercolor can be harder. Let me know if you disagree. That's totally fine. Leave a comment. I disagree. <laughs> I get a kick out of that. Plus, you know, I you everybody knows stuff. You might paint differently and have some good tips for everybody. A little darker dot under the arm. Scumble up a little darker. Okay, oh, you know what? I was going to switch grays, but we could really put some gray in our skates. So this is more like kind of dry, I mean it's not dry because it's watercolor, but not much water, mostly paint. I'm gonna turn that, add a little depth to our skates. Okay. Huh. I'm trying to decide if I really, oh here, let's just grab a little I'm gonna grab some orange. I was gonna grab some yellow. And just a little blob of color there. Let's work on our noses. So in the first video I did the dark part of the nose first. Let's see if this works better if we do the light part of the noses first. And if they turn out all one color too dark, we can just add another like a darker red shadow. Well, I don't know that you would quite see it, but we're going to do it this way anyway. Alright, we'll let that dry. I kind of want to come in with... Maybe we'll just do a purple. I don't know, what color haven't we... I mean, we'll do... Oh, we've used magenta in the other one. I'll just grab one of these blues here. This one's a little greener. I'm going to add another stripe. Ooh, that really punches. Do we like that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. You can tell I get a kick. I like, uh, right now my channel is small enough I can respond to every comment and I love it. I think it's so fun. 
Maybe we can do red. I just cleaned out my brush, but let's... I'm just going to draw lines to do something different. And this guy's going to... We're going to do bright. Should we make his tassels the same color as the band? So he coordinates a little bit. Let's maybe do this. Oh no, let's wait. Let's wait. Oh, we can make his mittens that color. Keep cleaning out my brush. Alright, I'm gonna put a little more water. It worked. As long as you go kind of light and quick. You can see the gray shadow. I think it'd be better to let it dry and then come back with some straight up blue or straight up gray. But it worked. Light and quick and not much scrubbing so you don't lift up the gray underneath. <laughs> ah, I hope you like these. These are fun. What color? Oh, I keep a red scarf. He's got a green hat, red scarf. The beige coordinates. What have we got up here? Oh, we got a red scarf there. So we'll do red there. So we should do a different color. Go to purple. Or pink. Let's do pink. Oh, we've got pink and purple there too, don't we? Orange? Go with the nose? Make him a orange and blue snowman complementary colors. I think I'm just going to fill this in and not worry about it. Maybe we'll come back with a little pinch of red or something. So if you want colors to pop, um, use compliments. got a little orange up in his face, but I'm thinking if I scrub it out, maybe we'll just make it like a little reflect reflective color and just kind of smooth it out a little. So do we need to make his goggles orange, maybe? You can switch to a smaller brush if you want. Just kind of picking up a little bit on the tip. I'm just kind of dabbing it in little brush strokes, whatever, whatever seems to work. Might grab a little bit of red. Just to kind of make that a little bit different than the nose. Okay, so orange. I cleaned off my brush. Should make this gradate a little bit, so we'll use some of our light orange. So I mean gradate like it blends from one color into another. I'm gonna offload my brush. And grab the darker orange or the regular orange. Ooh, it's strong. Maybe offload and grab a little water. There we go. Kind of blend it in. Okay, if I remember, it'd be fun to come back. Well, I don't know. Actually, it looks pretty good. I kind of like that that's lighter orange and this is darker orange. I was going to make his snowboard orange. We can make it green. We can make it a periwinkle. Or you could just make it blue. This blue that we were using. 
Oh, you could. Here, let's do this. I've been grabbing color and kind of filling it in, but you could add some water and paint it that way. And I'm not going to do it, but like you could tilt it to see if it's shiny. And actually, uh, watercolor artists will um, wait till it's not shiny, but it's still wet to paint the wet the area that they moistened. You can play around and see what you guys like. Okay, so we're gonna. And then you can kind of it'll bloom. I might like that. That looks a little different. So I'm like, I don't know if that looks that much different. Now, in theory, this should really be darker on this side. And the light, I'm going to paint this all the same. We'll come back and paint that bottom darker after it dries. Okay. I wonder if her noses are dark enough, and I need to do, here, we can do his scarf. Should we do the darker red? Just kind of offloading a little bit there. Ooh, that's strong. I'm just gonna go over everything quick. And I'm going to come back with some more red. Okay, I stopped the video for a second there. I don't know if you'll even notice, but in case you do, I had an incoming phone call. And I looked to see if it was favorite daughter or favorite son, and it wasn't. It just said incoming call. Here, should we put a little? Actually, I'm gonna put a little here in red. No, oh, you could have left some of the stripes white. Eh, maybe it's just as well since I did hear well that I'm doing something a little different. Um, we pretty much have. Orange, um, we're pretty close to done. Sorry guys, I'm just kind of thinking. Oh, I was, was I, I, I don't know if I said it, but I guess maybe I'll do it. I think I'll paint the background in, maybe I'll paint it on this one. And we'll put a little salt on it. Let's do that next. I think I'm gonna wet it. To me, this is so relaxing. <laughs> I also feel like I have to talk because I'm doing this you know, step by step. But I know I get a couple of comments now and then people want to see step by step. So watercolor's quicker, much more qu quicker than one of my large acrylic paintings or watercolor. I'm not sure what I just said there because I'm trying to focus and talk. So I thought this might be a decent video for those who like every step. Okay, let's grab. So I want this to stay wet or a little longer so we can put salt in it. And I'm a little scared to have it be so dark. And I actually have too much water. I can see it kind of running. I 
I think I might do this. We have some darker areas and just let it kind of bleed. And then maybe leave some lighter areas because I want, I want the tassel on that hat to still show. Am I drying? Can't tell if I'm drying or not. You can also work up at an angle if you like things to run down. That can be fun. dog barking outside. Can you guys hear that? Okay. Well, let's get some salt on here. And it's it's tricky because um, you just never know if you need it wetter or drier and what it's going to do. So we're just going to go for it. table salt. And it should, it kind of like soaks up the pigment. I think is what it does. It should make it look like snow. Okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Please work. I'm not editing. <laughs> uh, okay. We're having fun. Alrighty. Oh, what we could do too, let me get my pencil. Or maybe my pen. We could draw when it dries. Oh, my pen doesn't want to work. Can draw the um what holds the earmuffs together. But just to make that mouth come out a little more. Mm, pardon me, we'll do that. Should we grab some of our black? Or we want to do gray? We could do it either way. I think we'll do it a little different. I think we did, yeah, I did black on those buttons. Oh, I can feel salt. So let's maybe do Just fill these in. This, these I left white, so we're gonna do these a little different. I had a white shine on it. Let that dry. Oh, you could come back too if you wanted to make, wanted to define a shadow a little bit more and give it another little. Give it a little more depth. pretty much done. We're awfully close. Oh, and we could splatter again. I like to splatter. I don't know if the salt's working. <laughs> oh, it's, it might take a while. I might have to stop the video and pop back in at the end. I think this is the color we used for the skateboard. Oh, I got a hair. Oh no, we used periwinkle. This is the color we used for... Oh, that's strong. Offloaded my brush on my paper towel, grabbed a little bit of water. I think that's a better shadow. It's definitely stronger. I guess it depends if you want stronger or softer. But here, this one's even softer because I've got less pigment. I like that. Let's take a little of this red orange. Or red, I guess it's straight up red. Hmm. That's kind of working, but it's not as dark as I want it. Let's grab a 
from this one. And we'll put a little in right there. Oh, I think that's kind of funny. Get a little more dimension. We'll work on our noses. Oh, there's salt on that nose. I can hear it. That might do something kind of interesting. <laughs> we got salt on the nose. Probably should have done the noses first if I didn't want that to happen. Okay, I think that's working better than part one video. A little bit better order. Cheek. Should we grab just a little pink? Scrub it in there. I picked up some of the gray, I think. You hear the salt? <laughs> Couldn't see it. I'll just put another. You can leave that a little lighter, like there's a little um, reflective light coming up from the snow. Let's make that a little darker. I think that looks good. I'm just wiping off salt there. I think he's done. Or she, he, we'll call me he. I think this one's done too. All the salt's working a little bit. Yeah, this one, I think we're just gonna mess with the scarf and, oh, we maybe might wanna put a little color for the ground. You don't have to actually. Oh, you know what I wanna do? Because I want this broom darker here. The broom handle, I guess it is. Okay, I'm not getting paint. Is it going to dry on me? Let's come in. I think we're about done. I keep, I'm telling that more to myself than you guys. I was gonna do red, but this actually is green. Or this looks kind of pinkish. I'm almost tempted to use the pink instead of the red. Oh, and we need some dark right in there to help with the, the curve. I have to come back and fix that one. Whoa, I got a blob. I'll just make this one stronger. I do find it easier to paint when I'm not talking. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have trouble talking and painting. I kind of like the pink. Okay, I want to make that darker, but I'm wondering if it's too soon, but we'll just go for it. Just dot some color in there. Cute! Oh, you know what? I want to come back with some black. I always think as I look at it and I see things I want to do. Well, it's not very black. Oh, I just had a worry that I'm not totally on camera. I'm not too bad. Well, it isn't doing quite what I want it to do. Let's work on this one and see if we can get it.
let that dry and add a little more. I have just a little bit of color. Oh, there's a hair. Probably from Freckles, my cat. If you guys watched my other videos, you've seen Freckles once in a while. <laughs> I don't think she likes to be videoed. I think that one's done. Too bad I can't. That's one thing about the lies is I can get a little feedback. Is it done? Do you want to see something else? I think this one's done. And this one I'm going to add a little shadow on. Kind of anchor the snowman. So put your color where you want it strongest. I'm not getting any more color. <laughs> I thought I had it that one. There we go. And then just kind of let it run out. Just kind of scumble it. Maybe I'll just let it run out to the edge of our paper. Oh yeah, the salt did do some stuff. It's still buckled. All right, one more thing. And then I'm gonna turn the video off. We'll let this dry a little longer and then we'll come back and wipe it off. I'm kind of stalling, wanting it to dry. I think I hear Freckles playing with a toy. It's really quiet today. I don't have any music going. I'm just kind of dabbing color. Let's give it a little shape and roundness. Okay, let's see what we've got here. In case I wasn't on camera. Ooh, my towel's pretty wet. That could be why that's not drying so fast. I'll come back and we'll brush off the salt in a little bit. I'm gonna give that a little bit more time to dry. Oh, I smeared it. <laughs> and then there's our snowboarder. I think that's fun, flying through the air. And then our ice skater with floppy hat. I really like the floppy hat. Do we wanna, I said we're gonna splatter. This brush can be great for splattering uh, acrylics or watercolor. It's got a lot of wiggle to it. Let's see, we splattered sort of an aqua green up here. So should we splatter? Well, I kind of want to stick to normal colors. We could splatter a little purple. I don't know if we'll like it, but let's try it. And then you could cover these if you don't want to get splattering on them. Where's my little tracing sheet? Let's cover that one so we can see the salt the best we can. Okay, the wetter and the more loaded, the more it's going to splatter. And the further you hold back on your handle, the more it'll splatter. So if you want to kind of control it, hold it up close. Let's not do it. Oh, there a little bit. Oh, it's going into my paint box more than it is onto my paper. Yeah, if you want to cover the face. And then you can also just... Put in some of your own if you want. So straight up will be rounder dots. If you kind of lay it down, you get the longer ones. Alrighty, I'll be back in a bit. We're gonna let this dry. Okay, I used a hair dryer to speed it up. Um, it didn't look like it was gonna change anymore. If you want to let it give it more time, let let it dry naturally. But I thought I would show you. This is one of the in the watercolor booklet I talked about a little bit ago, and this might show you the salt a little bit better because I'm getting like almost like little crystallized look to it. I might have had um, my snowman background a little wet. So isn't that fun? 
And that's just really simple. You might like like painting that one. And you could paint an acrylic if you wanted. You know, just because it's a, a watercolor or a yeah, watercolor class traceable doesn't mean you can't use it for some other medium. Alright, let's brush off. Yeah, see, I don't think you're gonna see any difference when I brush the salt off. Oh, you can see though here. Can you see that the salt's kind of blue? Right here. My pile of blue salt. Oh, I think that actually looks kind of neat. Kind of looks like wintry, snowy. I'm going to brush it onto the paper towel. I think that turned out kind of neat. Looks a little more arty. <laughs> oh, that's fun. This is fun. It's fun for me to change mediums. Um, I think I want his eyes a little darker. And I think I'm going to kind of zigzag the mouth a little bit. Did you hear freckles meow? I don't know if you guys heard that. And I think I want to make the tassel stand out a little bit. That's cute. You could even, if you wanted to, you know, darken up the... Use ink to darken up the um, coal or rocks or whatever those are. Give them a little more contrast. And then we, the, the whole reason I got this pen out was to make this stand out a little bit more. Okay, guys, I hope this was fun for you. I had a blast. I now have six different snowman ideas I can use um, to paint in acrylic, or I could scan these in and just as they are and send them to my agent for like garden flags and greeting cards. So that's really fun for me. That's also a reminder that my art's copyrighted. So change it up and make it look like yours and just draw shapes. This is just like a triangle. If you brought it all the way down, you'd have a triangle. And I just cut it off. This is a rectangle right there. This is a rectangle I slanted the sides. Triangle nose. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. I really love getting to know you guys. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.